This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in my last message in this series, we began the third part of the series, Introduce Your Friend to Jesus, and considered the first threshold of conversion outlined in Sherry Waddell's book, Forming Intentional Disciples. The first threshold is initial trust. People usually come to faith in Jesus through people whom they know and trust. We build relationships of trust by showing compassion and exercising the virtues of friendliness, honesty, patience, justice, charity, etc. Once we have a relationship of trust established, through the working of the Holy Spirit, we can plant seeds that may help to move our friend to be curious about Jesus. First, it is important to talk about Jesus. People need to hear the name Jesus. Find simple, non-threatening ways just to mention Jesus in the conversation. For example, as you are talking about what you have done lately, you could say, I went grocery shopping yesterday and had a little time to stop into the church and spend some time with Jesus before I went to the store. Or, I like to start my day with some prayer time with Jesus. Ask Jesus to open the door for these moments in conversation. Look for opportunities when you can briefly mention why Jesus is important to you. These moments should not be monologues or done in a way that gives the impression that you are forcing Jesus on anyone. They should be just simple moments from time to time to let your friend know that Jesus is important to you. If your friend is not curious yet, remember that you cannot make them be curious, but rather foster an environment in which curiosity can be perked. This is not yet the stage to offer a lot of instruction. If your friend asks a question, try to answer it the best that you can. Do not worry if you do not know the answer. Just respond, that is a great question. I am not sure of the answer. Let me look it up for you and get back to you. As they start becoming curious, Little by little, we can share more or even clear up misconceptions that they might have in proportion to their questions. Second, be serious about living the gospel. It is good to ask ourselves whether we are living like everyone else or is there something different about us? Does our life radiate the joy of the gospel, the joy that comes with faith in Jesus? Do we live a life of simplicity and care for the poor? Do we go the extra mile to care for people? Do we promote the dignity of all human life? Do we live chastely? How do we conduct ourselves on social media? Are we honest, fair, and just? Do we respect everyone? Do we avoid falling into rash judgment and the polarization that marks our society. To plant seeds that arouse curiosity about Jesus, people need to know that there is something different and good about the way we live, and people need to know that Jesus is important to us. Both are necessary. The Holy Spirit may then lead the person to start connecting the dots and wondering, why is there something truly good about this person? Is it due to Jesus? Who is this Jesus that he is so important to my friend? People enter the stage of curiosity when they become intrigued about Jesus and want to know more about him. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.